This is the first step in asking the court to declare that the trial court improperly sentenced Jason Van Dyke for the murder and aggravated battery of Laquan McDonald and to order a new sentencing hearing. As Attorney General, with the constitutional and legal duty to represent the people of the state of Illinois before the state Supreme Court, I am convinced that it is my responsibility to file this petition and to work in conjunction with the special prosecutor, State's Attorney Joe McMahon, to challenge this sentence. But I think what's important to remember in this case is that for so many different reasons, uh, there are really uh, important issues uh, that came forward, not just in the trial of this case, but during the sentencing of this case. Those issues would have come out whether it was during the appellate process, whether it was during the post-conviction process, which could have come whether or not an appeal was uh, filed uh, immediately or not. But ultimately, it was to make sure that the law was followed in all aspects. And this step by the Attorney General and I this morning is our effort to make sure that the law is applied equally to this case like it has been to every other case and that this defendant is the laws apply to this defendant uh, as they do to all defendants well i am satisfied with the sentence but as we have had an opportunity to step back and and kind of evaluate um, the uh, both the law and how the sentence was imposed uh, we have the benefit of some time and, and counsel in working with the Attorney General's office uh, and him. And uh, I think the, the, the bigger message in this case is to make sure that the sentence that is imposed is a sentence that is lawful under both the legislative intent and the law as set down by the Illinois Supreme Court. I'm not casting aspersions on, on the judge. The question is whether the sentence was consistent with the laws of the state of Illinois. And it, it, it is our belief that the sentence was not. And this is the only way for us to challenge the legality of a sentence. We cannot wait for a defendant to raise this issue on appeal and then ad address it in our response to the uh, to the appeal that the defendant raises. So this was kind of our one and only opportunity to challenge the legality of the sentence. This is a question of law, and it's in the interest of justice that the law be fo followed no matter who the defendant and no matter who the victim is in a particular case. And that, that is not a political question. That is a question of law.